In this lesson, we'll explore the use of the mirror tool. All right, so mirroring here in 3ds Max is going to be really useful, especially if you're building uh, things on one half of the object. So let's say you're building something symmetrical, like a car or something like that. You build, you know, rear view mirror on one side and wheels on the one side. You don't want to have to build those multiple times. So you'd like to be able to go ahead and take all the detail that you've created on one side and mirror it over to the other side so you don't have to build it everything twice. And mirroring makes that possible. So there are a couple of different ways that we can access the mirror tool. The first way is just by selecting the little icon up here. Okay, you have to have something selected obviously, so I'll go ahead and select that. And you can activate the mirror and that'll bring up your uh, mirror settings here. We can also activate this by going to Tools, Mirror. Okay, and that'll bring up the same little box. Now the first thing we should notice when looking at this box is it says mirror colon world coordinates. So what this is doing is it's utilizing our reference coordinate system. So if I go ahead and change this to let's say local and go ahead and activate that, it's going to say mirror local coordinates. So it takes those into account when doing your mirror. Okay, let's go ahead and set that back to view. And the next thing we're going to look at is the mirror axis. Okay, so right now the mirror axis is set to X. So you can see that that's this axis right here. So we can change this to be the Y axis, the Z axis, and you can see how that affects the model. Okay, we can do it in multiple axes. So rather than the just the Z axis, you can see now when we do Y Z, it'll actually uh, turn that over. Okay, Z X. So you can choose all the different axes to be able to mirror. We also have an offset amount. So let's say that you want to mirror this, but you don't want it to be mirrored completely. You want to actually move that away or back into, and you can change this offset if you want to. Okay, and that offsets it along that Z axis. Okay, if you were to go ahead and undo that, set that back to zero, and go to the Y axis. If you were to offset this now, it's going to offset that along the Y axis. All right. Now, right now we have under clone selection, we have it set to no clone. So what it's basically doing is mirroring that geometry and not leaving anything behind. But let's say we want to actually create a copy. Okay. So we can set that to either copy, instance, or reference. Okay. So I'll go ahead and choose copy. And let's choose Z axis. And now you can see that it's mirrored that along the Z axis, but it's left the original intact. Okay. And now if we choose the ZX, you can see that it's not only mirrored in the Z, but also in the X. So now the spout is on the other side. Okay, so this gives the effect of kind of uh, on a very reflective surface, perhaps. Okay, we can also choose to, if we mirror this along the X, you can see that what's happened is because our, our uh, gizmo here is uh, centered on this, that the mirror is actually happening right uh, on the actual piece itself. So you can see I can offset this if I want to. So I can go ahead and offset this amount and bring this over there and that will give you the kind of offset that you're looking for. If you want to actually mirror this the same distance from the origin, one of the things that you can do is to use the working pivot rather than the objects pivot. So we can go into hierarchy and under working pivot we'll just say use working pivot and that's at the origin and now we'll do our mirror here I'll choose copy and with no offset you can see that it's been offset automatically the same amount from the origin. So by doing that you've made a uh, mirror image. So this is what I would typically use when doing things like uh, you know rear view mirrors or things that need to be mirrored over uh, mirrored over to the other side. You can do it that way by using the working pivot. Okay. If we take a look at the use of the reference coordinate system if we choose screen and take a look at this, you can see that this changes, the gizmo changes as we move around. So it's always staying kind of perpendicular with our screen. Now we can utilize this for things that uh, don't really match up perfectly along a specific axis, but that we can kind of match up in our viewport. So if I now mirror this across the x-axis and offset, offset this a specific amount, and I'm using the x-axis on the screen coordinates, which brings this straight across from our screen, but now if we move our screen out, you can see that that's actually mirrored that across at an angle. So that can be useful in specific kinds of situations. Okay, so just keep in mind that you can activate mirror. It's going to take advantage of your reference coordinate system. Okay, you can choose the different uh, axes that you want to use. You can either choose to just leave it, uh, just mirror the object without creating a clone, or you can copy it 
instance it or reference it. You can also use it on IK limits. You have the ability to offset it a certain amount, okay, along whatever axis it, axis it is that you're using. And if you want to mirror across the origin, one of the ways you can do that is to use this working pivot in the hierarchy panel. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're creating geometry and you need to create a mirror image uh, over to the other side of, across different axes. One of the ways that you can do that is to use the mirror tool.